Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today is a bit of a talking head video on this, the DJI Digital FPV system and the future of this system. Now, this isn't the first time I've made videos saying some of the things I'm going to be saying today. However, this really now is the point where we're starting to see the end of the original FPV system. And whilst it isn't completely over, there are parts that are no longer going to be available and I'm going to walk you through what the situation is as we understand it today. Now, just before I get into this video, I do just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supports the channel. It has been growing massively over the last few months. And again, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. I would not have been able to make all of the content that I have without their support. And I just want to say a huge thank you from me. Anyways, today I want to talk to you about the DJI Digital FPV system and the fact that some parts of this system are now becoming end of life. DJI haven't officially said the FPV system is end of life, i.e. the FPV goggles version 2. However, the version 1s like I've got here, you can no longer buy anymore. And whilst you have been able to buy both the DJI Air Unit and the Cadex Vista or Runcam Link, there is a point where that's going to change and we're at that point now. There has been hints for a little bit of time that DJI are going to be making changes. I've actually heard about this over the last few weeks and we're starting to see that coming now through some of their partners, including Runcam stating that the DJI Ear Unit is no longer going to be available once stock has gone. We've also had Cadix stating that their supply of DJI compatible cameras is coming to an end as well, including their DJI replica camera, that is the camera that they made, the micro camera I think it was called, the one that they released when you couldn't get the original DJI one, that is also now in short supply and once it's gone it's no longer going to be available either. As we understand it today, though, the system isn't completely done. And whilst DJI are stopping selling the ear unit, the Link or the Cadex Vista ear unit light, as it's known, is still going to be in production for at least the foreseeable future. We don't know what DJI's plans on this are as we move forward because they really don't publicize this stuff, but it isn't surprising really to start to see them quashing some of the older products, especially with the fact that the O3 ear unit is now out and that really is a somewhat direct replacement for the original ear unit, although the only people who can't use that are the people on V1s. Now, just to be clear on what we believe is happening, DJI will no longer be producing the ear unit as it stands here. That is the standard ear unit that released with the original DJI FPV system. The Cadix Vista, Runcam Link, or what is officially known as the ear unit Lite, will continue to be in production. And obviously, the O3 ear unit will continue to be in production as well. What this now means is that you will only have the choice, once stock has gone, of these two items. For Vision 1 goggles users, that means you're only going to be able to use the Vista Ear Unit Light Stroke Link. You will not be able to use the O3 Ear Unit because it is not compatible. For V2 goggles users, you have both options available to you. You will actually be able to use this ear unit in the original DIY FPV mode and the O3 ear unit in the new O3 mode. And really, you're not losing anything. Rather than being able to buy this, you would simply buy this and then carry on as before. Obviously, for Goggle 2 users, that means you're going to be able to continue to use the O3 ear unit, the Vista, and any of the original FPV ear units you have with that new firmware that was released. Although that firmware does have limitations in the sense of it doesn't record on that ear unit. And again, what DJI are doing is very much pushing you towards the O3 ear unit rather than that original DJI one. 
Now, the biggest effect of this is going to be that V1 goggle users will no longer be able to buy an ear unit that has onboard recording. They will still be able to use the run cam link as it's going to be moving forward because Caddx won't be selling the Vista anymore either, and run cam are still intending to sell that. However, what they won't be able to do is use an ear unit that's capable of recording once you can't get this one. So if you're someone who is on a V1 set of goggles and you want to be able to get ear units that record, you're going to want to buy up some DJI ones now before the supply is gone. For V2 users, as I've said, very little really changes. Rather than buying the original DJI ear unit, just go and buy an O3 ear unit and carry on as you did before and have the benefits of O3 and then not worry about the original DJI one. And obviously for Goggle 2 users, it's really not an issue. It's hardly surprising DJI are going to make this change because it really doesn't make sense to sell two ear units that both record moving forward. Yes, it's going to cut off V1 users, but in the end, this system has been around for quite a long time and it's longer than I would have expected for DJI to continue to make parts. There's been many times where we've had hints of these things changing. Today, though, is the reality of that coming true. So what we're going to be left with is Runcam selling the Runcam Link, which was also known as the Cadex Vista or Ear Unit Lite, and then DJI selling the O3 Ear Unit. Cadex will no longer be selling any of this once their stock has gone, as I understand it. Cadex now obviously have their avatar system and are a direct competitor to the DJI Digital FPV system. And as a result of them releasing that, it was never going to be the case that they were going to continue to sell those products. Now, what they're going to do is concentrate on their own system and DJI will continue to sell the Vista or what is known as the Link E unit via Runcam instead and Runcam will be the ones producing cameras. You still can get some of the Cadex cameras so if you do want one I would suggest going out and buying one but reality is O3 is the future that's where everything's going to be and that's where you really should be concentrating your money now. If you're someone with a set of V1s I'd try and consider upgrading to a set of V2s. The V2s are still the very best option available on the market today for cross-the-board compatibility. The Goggles 2 are decent, they're not perfect, they do have their issues, and that new firmware that does make those original air units compatible is far from finished and it is not fully featured and in fact in many ways it's a step back because you don't have things such as the ability to change the RF power output and all of those little features that we had on the original system. Today though, this isn't time for panicking, it's time now to accept this is the reality of the situation. A few years ago, things were very different and there's been a number of occasions where we've all jumped up and down as a result of this. However, DJI have provided a solution moving forward. It is a bit more expensive, but it really is hard to say that the O3E unit isn't the better option moving forward. Yes, you've got to pay a bit more for it, but for V2 users, you still have compatibility, so everything is fine. If you're V1 though, you want to go out and buy what you need. Things are coming to an end to have full system capability on those goggles. So you want to go out and get whatever supply you need to keep yourself going in the future, especially if you want a recording ear unit. So in the end, it is what it is. It's not a massive surprise. We have been waiting for this to happen and now it has. I'm really interested in knowing what you think about this. So please do let me know in the comment section. Also, I just want to say if you have found this video interesting, please do consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description. As I said at the start of this video, I want to say a massive thank you to all of my Patreons. I would not have been able to keep making content on this channel without your support. And if you're interested in supporting us, please please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me. Please let me know what you think. Stay safe and I will speak to you soon.